Like the Italian retro style of the Fiat 500, but perhaps you'd like to feel the wind in your hair a little bit and enjoy the sunshine that we're sometimes lucky enough to have. Well, why not take a look at the Fiat 500 Cabriolet? It looks like this. What's great about this car is that you can have the roof as a sunshine roof or you can put it as far back as it will go to an almost convertible position. So, can such a cool car also be practical? Well, yes it can actually. I'll just wait for this to move so that I can open the boot. And, as you can see, it's pretty big. In fact, there's only slightly less room than its hatchback counterpart. It even fits this huge bag. Inside, the front is similar too. I really like this gloss dash and retro controls. Also, the convertible has the same Blue and Me system developed by Microsoft with voice activated demands. It's also pretty practical because there's a lot of storage spaces. It passes the car by a big bottle test. There's also room for my banana and there's cup holders here, space for my nail gloss and Fairly large door bins, but we'll keep the bottle in here. The one thing that the convertible has that the hatchback does not have, though, are these buttons here. And what they do is control the roof. So at the moment, we've got it in sunshine mode, but if we press that button there, it puts it into almost fully convertible. Well, we've established it's cool and surprisingly practical, but what does it drive like? Well, thanks to its small dimensions, it's easy to nip in and around traffic, and if your arm muscles could do with a rest when parking, all you have to do is press this button here, which makes the steering really light. There you go, parking's an absolute doddle. As is driving it in general actually, because all the controls are really light. The clutch is really light, the gear changes are really light. And whilst you're doing all this posing around town with the roof down, the diddy little engines return such great MPG that visits to fuel stations should be few and far between. It's not without its faults though. When the roof is fully down, visibility out the rear is really poor. You can't really see if there's a car behind you and if you want to reverse park, you'll have to put the roof up. So, if you put it into sunshine mode, you can see out the rear now, but at speeds of over 40 miles per hour, we start to get a nasty wind buffeting noise and it really is quite unpleasant. Maybe that's why you can operate the roof at speeds of up to 37 miles an hour. The last problem that I have with this car in convertible format is in the back. Let me show you. Well, there's no head restraints back here, which doesn't strike me as very safe for rear passengers. Not to mention the lack of space. Even I'm a little bit cramped and I'm not particularly tall. But would that put me off if I was a young, trendy city dweller craving some Italian style and affordable fuel costs? Well, no, it wouldn't. I would take one of my friends out with me and we've seen that there's enough room for luggage. Besides, its retro coolness means it gets away with virtually anything. Subscribe to the Car Buyer channel for our latest videos. Click here to see our reviews of other convertibles. And don't forget to rate, share, favourite and comment on this video.